New at 5 tonight, reaction to a racially charged photo showing two Chicago police officers holding rifles and an African-American suspect wearing deer antlers. Good evening, everybody. It is an offensive photo, but it is important to show because one of the officers holding the rifle wants his job back on the police force. That picture was taken about 15 years ago. Eyewitness News reporter Ben Bradley is here with the mayor's reaction and why some believe this culture still exists today in the police department. Ben. Ron and Cheryl, both of these men are cops no more. One is in prison, the other was fired for appearing in this photo, which appears to be a mock-up of some sort of perverse hunting scene in which white police officers find their African-American prey. This is a photo Chicago Police Brass didn't yes. want the public to see. see Two special care. operations officers, <laughs> rifles in hand. One has his hand on the throat of an arrestee These who is wearing are way deer out of antlers. As far as I'm concerned to that officer, good riddance. You don't belong in a police department. The FBI uncovered the photo during its investigation of the former police officer on the left, Jerome Finnegan. He was convicted of leading a crew of rogue cops who shook down drug dealers and stole hundreds of thousands of dollars. Finnegan was also convicted of plotting to kill another police officer. The other special operations officer in the photo is Timothy McDermott, a decorated detective who told the police board that he only very, very vaguely remembered posing for the picture. He said, I remember walking through the police station and someone saying, hey, Timmy, take a picture. Our whole idea of a police department is there to uh, serve and protect, and the values expressed in that photos are not the values of the people of the city of Chicago. Black lives matter. While the photo is at least a dozen years old, what it symbolizes makes news almost every day. Mistrust of the police. That was very disgusting and disheartening to watch officers of the law um, participate in something like that. And I think this is something that's going on inside the Chicago Police Department. There are some bad police, without a doubt, just like there's some bad preachers, some bad teachers. But for the most part, uh, I believe the police are doing the best they can do. The FBI turned the photo over to Chicago police back in 2013. It took a while for Internal Affairs and the police board to investigate and finally approve Superintendent Gary McCarthy's recommendation to fire Officer McDermott. He's now fighting his firing in court. McDermott's attorney tells me a simple snapshot doesn't tell the whole story. And he says there's no evidence that the African-American man was in custody. So he is questioning whether the photo was even taken against the man's will. All right. Thanks, Ben. I waited around back for Miss Aston, just like you told me. She said, train gonna leave by half past four. You did just fine, Clarence. Now go get yourself some hot cornbread. Thank you, sir. You are. Thank you. Thank you. 4 30. You best get started. <clears throat> Wouldn't want to miss them. Good luck to you boys now. For performing a public service. Fine come up and those Yankee loving memes, too. <laughs>